Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. It's Halloween and I'm Lurleen. show y'all how to make some really tasty worm punch with green hands in it that the youngins are just gonna laugh up. Okay now the first thing you're gonna need to do to make this is a couple days before your party you got to make your hands. Now to make your hands you got to have one of these rubber latex gloves. Get the stretchy kind and try to find the ones without powder because that powdery stuff it just tastes awful. Don't go cheap and get them clear ones that won't stretch. You got to have just some plain old tap water, some green food coloring, and one of these handy tie wrapper things. Now you can take this out of your trash bags or you can just take one off the bread bag, it don't matter. Now you're going to need to make at least two hands, but I'm just going to show you how to make one. And if you're going to have a party that lasts for hours, you're going to have a whole bunch of youngins at it. You might want to make your four hands, six hands, whatever, but make them in pairs. You fill your glove full of the water, just like this. Alright, now you can see right there, maybe I stopped it up here before I got all the way to the top, because you got to be able to twist this up a little bit. And then you take your food coloring and you add in five drops. Now to seal this real careful like you want to get almost all the air out of it but be careful don't squeeze it because you'll squeeze it all over your kitchen to make a big old mess. Now this part here is important if you don't do it like this it'll get all over your freezer and then you'll be leaving me messages and telling me how I made a mess in your freezer. Fold it over like that once you get it twisted up and wrap this twist tie thingy around both layers. That keeps it twisted up so it don't leak out in your freezer. Now, when you put this in your freezer, you just lay it down flat. Um, some people put them on cookie sheets and stuff like that. I just find something flat and put it in my freezer. And you can see it's got a little bubble in it. That won't hurt nothing. And remember, now it takes two days to make these. Now you're going to need something pretty big to mix this up in. I got this here fancy punch bowl one year at the Walmart after Halloween. If you go after the holidays, you can save a fortune on them decorations because they mark them way on down. Now there's some basic things you have to have in this, but you can mix it up in different flavors, even different kinds of things. But you've got to have some ginger ale in it. That gives you the bubbles and it kind of gives you the base for the punch. If you've got a fridge or something, make sure all these ingredients are chilled good because it'll make your hands last longer and stuff. But you got to have your ginger ale and you've got to have you some kind of red fruit punch and you got to have you some kind of grape. Now, I have made this before and used all the juice in it trying to make it healthy, but let's face it, the youngin's going to be eating so much junk on Halloween, it ain't going to matter if the punch is healthy or not. If you're going to be making it and your party's going to be at lasting for hours, and maybe you ain't got no way to chill this stuff and get it cold. If you put a whole bunch of ice in it, it's going to get watery. So I use this drink mix stuff here in it when I'm doing that. And this has got that artificial sweetener in it. And they say you ain't supposed to really drink that artificial sweetener because it causes brain damage. But now I don't know. I drink quite a bit of it. And what do you think? I seem fine. But anyways, we're going to start with our ginger ale. You just pour it in there. I 
alrighty. Now, just so y'all can see what it looks like, I'm going to kind of hype and hype it this year. I'm going to do the fruit punch out of this grape mix. And then we'll do the, the grape soda for the grape. Youngins like that stuff anyway because it makes it extra bubbly. But watch what this fruit punch does here when I pour it into that ginger ale. You don't got to worry about stirring this up a whole lot because that fruit or that ginger ale, it just kind of eats that stuff right up. It fizzes it and dissolves it as soon as you dump it in there. And that will keep it from tasting watery when we add the ice and it starts to melt. But then you're going to dump your grape in there. Make sure you get all your flavors mixed together. Alright, now we get to add a special ingredient here. You want to put this stuff in just about 15 minutes before everybody gets there. Because you want it to soak. You definitely got to have gummy worms. And these ain't the best gummy worms here. You can see they just ain't that big. I got some one year. Them things was that long. They are great in this. But I got some regular gummy worms. Oh goodness, my dippy thing fell down in there. Just dump them in there. And you might want to keep out a couple for some garnishes. So we'll leave a few here. And I got some sour gummy worms. I'm going to dump them in there. Alright. This year, I found some gummy zombies. You can see they look like little zombie type people. Dump them all in there. Give it a little stir. And I found some gummy boogers. Now I ain't going to tell y'all where I found the gummy boogers at. Stir it up a little bit. And then you're going to put some ice in it because you want to keep it all good and cold. You're not going to add the hands until right before you party guests arrive because you don't want to melt them. But you want to put the ice in there because you want to keep it cold. Otherwise, your hands will melt as soon as you put them in there. One year some gummy eyeballs and I put in here and they was great and I found some gummy organs in one year they was really cool the youngins like them but I couldn't find them things this year you can just throw whatever kind of gummies you can find in there but now make sure whatever you put in there is edible because you don't want to be choking the youngins to death what no I don't, I don't guess you won't be choking the youngins to death I mean some of them you might want to choke to death but you probably ought not choke the youngins to death but anyway, let's pretend like these gummies have been soaking for 15 minutes and they're getting soggy and slimy because the youngins like it when they're soggy and slimy. And you want to take your hands out just a little bit before you got to slip them in here. It makes the glove come off easier if the outside starts to melt just a little bit. Maybe just five minutes before you mix it up. Okay, now all you're going to do to get your hand out is it's just kind of like taking a glove off. You're just going to flip it inside out kind of there. And if a finger breaks off, it ain't the end of the world because, you know, a finger floating in it, it just adds to it a little bit. Look at that. Is that something? You just put that down in there and you let it flow. And you can see it down there and you punch and the youngins can see it when they're getting them some out. And you can see, putting that twist tie on there like that, it really works. It keeps all that stuff in there so it don't come out in your deep freeze and make a big old mess. But they're not too hard to get out. Just kind of roll it off. Oh goodness, it splashed me. There. Now we got our hands in there and we got our worms in there and some boogers and some zombies. And you want to get you some little party cups to serve it in because the youngins like to feel special. And when you dip it out, get down there in the bottom and make sure you get some of them worms. Look at that. What a pretty color that is. 
and you can take a few of them worms if you keep some out. If you can find them long ones, they work much better. They'll go all the way over the edge of your glass. But that ain't too bad there. Put one on the edge like that and give it to the youngins and they'll really think they're at a fancy party. Now y'all stay safe this Halloween and have a little fun. And remember the only ghost you ought to be talking to on Halloween is the Holy Ghost. So don't be doing none of that spooky stuff. Thanks for joining us again in the Hillbilly Kitchen. I'm Lurleen, and don't worry, one of the other girls will be back next time. So don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next year.